after the last few years of failure after failure after failure at the box office, it was pretty well known within the entertainment space and Hollywood that Disney Pixar sorely, badly needed a hit at the box office. Well, that hit came this summer in the form of Inside Out 2, which is now the highest grossing animated film in history at over $1.6 billion at the box office. And because Inside Out 2 has been a hit, well, <laughs> all I got to say is that some people within the ranks aren't too happy. In fact, some within the ranks decided to speak out and anonymously talk to IGN. In fact, this is from thatparkplace.com. Disney executives stamped out any alleged gay interpretations from Inside Out 2 after Lightyear's box office failure. A new rumor claims that Disney and Pixar executives instructed the Inside Out 2 team to remove any possible gay interpretations from Inside Out 2 after Lightyear's box office failure. And the Wokies inside of Pixar aren't happy about it. You've got a successful movie. You got the hit that you needed to stay alive. And yet you're not happy because you were told to remove the LGBTQ um, situations, I'll say, in the movie. Or any references to LGBTQ type stuff out of the movie. So a report from IGN's Alex Stedman, which cites multiple anonymous individuals at Disney, claims that Disney executives blamed the failure of Lightyear on its inclusion of a gay kiss. Lightyear only grossed $218.7 million according to the numbers. The film had an estimated production budget of $200 million. Lightyear did not fail because of a gay kiss. Lightyear failed because the story was crap. It was boring. Not to mention the fact you replaced Tim Allen with Chris Evans as the voice of Lightyear. Granted, this was supposed to be a prequel to Toy Story. But still, Tim Allen is Buzz Lightyear. Period. Despite the source's claim, Disney executives instructed Pixar creatives to make Inside Out 2 less gay, Stedman writes. Sources describe rumors that there was special care put into making the relationship between Riley and Val, a supporting character introduced in Inside Out 2, seem as platonic as possible, even requiring edits to the lighting and tone of certain scenes to remove any trace of romantic chemistry. One source told him that Pixar did a lot of extra work to make sure that no one potentially see them as not straight. Well, it worked, didn't it? The numbers show that when you just tell a story and you strip out the message, Holy cow, you have a successful movie on your hands. While Disney allegedly provided instructions to remove any gay implications, one source made it clear that Riley is not gay. Source told Stedman, mind you, Riley is not canonically gay. In the film, what you saw, nothing about Riley says that she is gay, but it is kind of inferred based on certain contexts. And so that is something that they tried to play down at multiple points. See, there's no problem. There's no problem with that as long as it's not overtly pushed as part of the story. I've said that. Others have said that. That when the message is the underlying, is the secondary, is the, is, is the thing that's, that's not pushed, 
and you just tell a story, and if that becomes part of the story, great, fine. But when you make it the prominent thing, that's when you run into trouble. That's when you run into problems. This should not be a surprise given Pixar released a short titled Riley's First Date back in 2015 where she goes on a date with a boy named Jordan. And it appears the strategy of stamping out any kind of gayness in the film, if true, worked out extraordinarily well for Pixar and Disney. The film grossed $652.5 million domestically and another $1.018 billion internationally for a global gross of $1.67 billion on a budget of $200 million. Odin, over at OMB Reviews, noted at the end of June when the film crossed the billion dollar mark that Disney made roughly $200 million in net gain profit. So we're talking about taking into account the splits domestic, international, and from China, taking into account the marketing costs, taking into account the $200 million report of budget. Now, if this rumor is true, this is a drastic shift for the Walt Disney Company strategy. Disney Television's animated executive producer Latoya Revenow admitted that she had been getting had been injecting a not at all secret gay agenda into shows she works on just two years ago in 2022. Well, remember there was a little rumor a few weeks ago that at least Marvel was um laying off the activist producers. So, just saying. Uh, the company also launched Disneyland After Dark, Pride Nights. It gets on all the Disneyland stuff that they've been doing at the, the parks. Uh, there's uh, the, the, the actual article from IGN. There's a section here. The apparent hesitance to touch on LGBTQ themed storylines, particularly affected Inside Out 2's development, according to several of her sources. Multiple people recall hearing about continuous notes to make Rally, the main character of both Inside Out movies, come across as less gay, leading to numerous edits that ramped up around September 2023 after resolution of the WGA strike. Sources described rumors that there was special care put into making the relationship between Rally and Val's supporting character introduced in, in Inside Out 2 seem as platonic as possible, even requiring edits to the lighting and tone of the certain scenes to remove any trace of romantic chemistry. One source described it as just doing a lot of extra work to make sure that no one else would potentially see them as not straight. So what it boils down to here is, folks, that when you make a, a movie, whether it's live action, animated, whatever, and you just tell a story, it's going to be received well and do well. When you make a movie and you push the message, it's not going to do well. You know, Lucasfilm found that out real quick with the Acolyte, with all the promotion of the Acolyte. Um, it's Tuesday the 17th. Tomorrow is the premiere of Agatha All Along. And I'll get into that in another video. Because it seems like all of Disney has not learned their lesson. Um, but there you have it. Inside Out 2. Yes, it was the hit the Pixar needed. After the last, say, four or five years of failures. Heck, it may have saved Pixar, for all we know, from being shuttered. Um, what do you guys think about this report coming out from anonymous sources within Pixar? Not liking the fact that they stripped out the LGBTQ stuff out of Inside Out 2. Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Shows YouTube that, hey, people are actually watching my content and liking my content. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's something that's free. Helps out the channel. Helps get it promoted. 
And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back and watching. Oh, one more thing while you're at it, please take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So when I post my content daily here on YouTube, you don't miss a video. And with that, I thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.